What's going on everyone? Today, on today's episode, we're going to be installing an AC right here um, using yoga pipe. And so, I was here pre-YouTube um, and I installed a new furnace which is right there. Um, I think I believe I took out a 30 year old Armstrong and put in this Goodman. And uh, I'll try to put photos up above. Um, yeah, so we're, but today we're gonna be using a yoga pipe, installing it, basically going up through. And um, I think we have to do a new thermostat and a wire. We gotta remove these panels run the line set up through and then uh there's the air conditioner which has got to go outside yeah obviously morning tyler Good morning please yep all right uh we need the pilot bit regular pilot bit oh, okay. and the big whole hog i was about to say i didn't see it how come you didn't see it I don't know. okay okay we're gonna get busy and we'll feed you guys some content and hopefully enjoy and if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing right tyler yeah so I, I gotta pay for Tyler's school. So sus consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed and smash that thumbs up button. This was regular copper. That was pink. So we had to go make a beeline to John Stone and grab some speed channel. And I like hide this line saw. This makes it it'll make it look a lot cleaner and nicer. It's been a few months since I've been here, so I completely forgot what I'm going to do. Now, before. 
before you guys say, hey, that hole's not filled, I'm going to use some great foam on the inside. So. waste of this is going to be about well, six or seven inches that's pretty good Sounds like Gotham. Yeah, seven and a quarter inches I'm wasting. anybody out there has any questions on the products that I use feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be the I'll do my best to answer them all Yeah, I know these 
these are used for tin snips, but I use them for a lot of things, including cutting my toenails from time to time. I'm kidding. place it down so it's running along that gas line. So it's nice and neat. Okay. Everybody wants to do shortcuts. Shortcuts are easier but Okay, so in my other videos, I use Stay Clean by Harris, and then I use Stay Bright 8. It's a silver bearing solder, and it's, uh, it's super strong. I've used this for a while. Yeah, make sure it's on right here. Turn it on, you'll see the gauge. Okay. Let me turn this on a little bit. Heat it up towards the back, and you're on your solder. I just push the solder, and that heat draws it in. Kind of move it back and forth and kind of focus on this area. Yeah, it's pulling that solder in. When you do on these, you want to go on an angle. You don't want to go down to catch this on fire. Okay. Right. And this here, you go like right here. Alright. Okay, start rubbing your solder on it. A little bit more. Get it on there. There you go. 
Ja, så nu hører jeg. It takes it takes a few few tries. Now, when you braze with ox, acetylene and oxygen, mm -hmm. or just acetylene, that's it's it's totally different. Take this and just kind of. I kind of burnt myself a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you, you will. <laughs> so yeah, you get I used to it. Accidentally touched that yeah, right there. It's, it's, like, it's hot. It's hot. It's just kind of cool it down, cleans it up. Okay. And it'll take you a few to get to the hang of it, but then the true test is going to be. When we put nitrogen to it, there's a little booger right there, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's see if we can hear it. Well, yeah, know, when you put nitrogen to it, it'll it'll start hissing. Okay. But I don't think we'll have an issue. All right. So got the 18. Um, I got these Yoga Pipe ACR adapters. Just put them in and here. Just like Pro Press, you just want to line it up. Just like that. Then obviously with this die, it's got the three ribs which goes in against those O-rings. And that's what seals it up. Downtown Julie Brown. I'm going to have to get some longer piece of insulation. So here, I like using, I've used these Appian 
core removal tools. I gotta replace them every couple of years, but I'm, there's, I'm sure there's better ones out there. Um, leave your thoughts and feedback down below what you guys like to use for the core removal tools and charging and commissioning uh, the air conditioners. You know, I'm always looking to invest in some new tools. And I've used this uh, Refco. Um, it's Bluetooth. You can connect it to your phone. This is what I use to pressure check all my my AC units. It seems to be pretty accurate. The other drill in there is the one that goes in the pack out. Yeah, the 18 volt, yeah. So I like to go off my rating plate. Um, so max high, I'm sorry, uh, max is high 450. And I got it set at 422. Um, what I like to do is let it set for a second and then I'll release a little bit and then we'll see. But it's been bouncing there. I just filled this up and it's been sitting for probably three, four minutes. I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and uh, see where it is. All right, we're good to go. I blinked it off. It's been holding at 411.6 for probably 15 minutes after I undid this, released the charge real quick, kind of equalize things out. Grab my iPad, please. Your iPad? Yep.
what you do is get, get that opened up, drain that down, and that's draining in there. Oh, that's okay. And then you you can tell the difference of oil. I normally use synthetic oil. This is actually oil from Fuel Piece. There must have been oil, oil already in that. Uh, with your vacuum not pulling down always check your oil and it's always good practice of actually putting a micron gauge on this before you start um, I'm just so used to doing it this way but we'll let that pull down for a little bit longer We got done there. I'm gonna crack this open a little bit. Remove that. That way, there's no air that gets into the system. installed so we ended up going this morning I forgot to order this but we ended up going to our local Johnstone got our slim duck line set cover I think that looks a lot better um, first time I ever used this because this is about a two and a half inch difference it goes down to the brick so this is all they had I mean it's it works. Now everything's nice and sealed. Uh, got the yoga pipe all installed. I got it down to about 180 microns. Uh, blinked it off again. Everything's working good. And everything's here's all done. I'll be back once the electrician wires everything up and uh, 
get everything fired up. I definitely got to add some free in, um, just blower speed, all that stuff. Um, but everything's finalized. Um, yeah, we installed this furnace back in uh, November of last year. And uh, yeah, good to go. Um, like I said, if you guys have any comments as far as any, anything that I'm using, uh, supplies, uh, tools, leave it, drop it down in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out. And if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. And if you're the one who gives me the thumbs down, do that twice. That'd be great. See you on the next one.